Hey, what's up guys? My name is Simi Singh and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be unboxing the video mic NTG and doing a sound comparison versus the AT2020. Stay tuned. As you may already be aware, the video mic NTG by Rode and the Audio-Technica AT2020 are the two go-to mics for content creators and YouTubers. And when Rode thought outside the box and created this mic, which is like a hybrid mic, it serves as a on-camera mic and a podcasting mic as well, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Now the video mic NTG is a highly directional, super cardioid polar pattern mic and it has a very flat frequency response. There's a very nice uh, variable gain control on the mic and you can set the gain directly from the mic, saving some time in editing. I thought that was a very nice feature. The mic also features a USB-C output, which you can use to record your audio from your computer or even charge your mic as well. The video mic NTG comes with a USB-C to USB-A wire. For those of you that have a MacBook, we have to connect a converter to convert the USB-A to USB-C connection to use with our MacBooks. Thank you, Apple. So I contacted Rode and Rode informed me that it's perfectly fine to use a USB-C to USB-C wire. So that makes your life a lot easier and you don't have to use a converter. So that option is out there. If you would like to purchase a USB-C to USB-C wire, it will allow you to use it with your MacBook. The mic also has several controls on top, such as the high pass filter, the pad, the high frequency boost and safety channel. So that's an extra convenience. There's also a DB peak warning light. So if you peak up too high, the warning light comes up. Now the battery life is stated to be 30 hours. I tested it over several days and it came close to 30 hours of use. So that's pretty accurate. Now the downside is it's a built-in lithium ion battery. So there's no external battery that you can replace when this one goes bad. But the good news is Rode is offering a 10 year warranty. So if anything goes wrong with your Rode mic, you can always send it in and get a replacement or get it repaired. The mic is lightweight, it's 94 grams and it's made of aerospace grade aluminum. Now I can tell you as soon as I pull this mic out of the box, that's the first thing I noticed is the solid build. So I don't really see this mic falling apart anytime soon, fingers crossed. Another very convenient feature of this mic is when you plug it into your DSLR, it powers on. When you unplug it, it powers off. So no worrying if you forget to turn it off because it does it automatically. So inside the box, you receive the video mic NTG. You receive a SM7-R camera mount, which is a very nice shock mount. You receive a foam windshield, a SC10 cable, which allows you to connect to your DSLR camera, and a 1.2 meter USB-C cable. The video NTG is currently retailing for $249.99 versus the AT2020, which is retailing for $199.99. Now, they both have their pros and cons. The one thing I would like to mention out is that the AT2020 makes your voice sound very bassy. So if you like that bass to your voice when you're talking, the AT2020 does a very good job of that. The video mic NTG on the other hand makes your voice have like a flat frequency response. So it's more true to how you sound. So this all depends on your preference. The AT2020 in my opinion sounded really nice. However, it was very limiting to me because it was mounted on a boom arm to my desk. I couldn't take it around with me. Disassembling was a lot of work. So this mic, the video mic NTG provided the flexibility and I can move it around on a mic stand if I needed to. I'm currently using the NTG as a shotgun mic mounted over me and I'm pretty happy with the results. So, so far I've been talking into the video mic NTG and I have done some post editing. In the test coming up, I'll be speaking into the AT2020 and the video mic NTG without any editing. So you can hear the difference between both of them. In the end, it really comes down to preference. You can't go wrong with purchasing either one. If you're one of the people that don't like your mic being visible in the frame, which is the reason why a lot of people don't wear Lafayette's because they don't like the mic showing, then you can always go with the Rode Video Mic NTG because it serves as a shotgun mic and it won't be visible in the frame. May God grant you always a sunbeam to warm you 
a moonbeam to charm you, a sheltering angel so nothing can harm you. May you have warm words on a cold evening, a full moon on a dark night, and the road downhill all the way to your door. May your neighbors respect you, troubles neglect you, the angels protect you, and heaven accept you. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. May the luck of the Irish lead to the happiest heights, and the highway you travel be lined with green lights. May brooks and trees and singing hills join in the chorus too, and every gentle wind that blows send happiness to you. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings, slow to make enemies and quick to make friends. But rich or poor, quick or slow, may you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May your heart be warm and happy with a lilt of Irish laughter every day in every way and forever and ever after. Now this was recorded on a gain setting of 8 on the road mic and I do have the foam windshield on the mic. Now let's see how the mic sounds without a windshield on. It matters not how straight the gate how charged with punishments to scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. As you can see, the road mic does an excellent job of blocking out any wind noise. And it sounded like I was sitting inside a room where there's no wind. Overall, my verdict is that the road mic is better than the AT2020. The AT2020 is also a great mic, but uh, if you have the budget, I would say go with the road mic. It just brings a little bit more to the table. You can't go wrong with either mic. They're both great choices, especially for your YouTubers out there that are looking for a mic. I would highly recommend both of them. So that's it for today's unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Until next time, see you guys.